Yes, yes. Shouting out from the Chapman Motorway, my brethren, Fabian Madison. Yo. How deep are we into this tour now? Uh, five days. Five days in. We're just leaving the Netherlands. We're entering Germany to our next stop in Hamburg. I've seen some things that you people might not even believe if I told you. I've seen some crazy ways of life and some crazy ways of getting money. And we've been singing some great songs on the way. Fabian's been uh, playing most of his songs. He's been kind enough to let me come on stage with him and sing uh, a couple of my songs as well. And we've really been connecting with a lot of different people through the medium of song. And it really is quite powerful. Met a lot of good people along the way. And like I say, experienced a lot of different ways of life. So uh, Fabian, what would you say so far in this tour? Probably something that's really stuck in your mind. Stuck in my mind. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I'd say the community out the swamp in Utrecht. The uh, swamp was a crazy ass place. It was a crazy ass place. People never get checks. No electricity, no water. Squatting a plot of land. It's owned by the, uh, as far as I'm aware, owned by the government, but due to be cleaned up by an oil company. Yeah. But, um, that doesn't look like it's happening, so... Because they grew a lot of their own produce on at the swamp. But they had no electricity that I could see, and they had no uh, running water. But they did grow their own vegetables. But they had the problem where the oil company, because it had to power shell um, next to them, had contaminated the soil with their oil drums, I believe the story goes. So you can't plant food in that soil. I don't think it'll be good for you to eat. So they had to... Um, what they call skip soil from other places, which is uh, basically get it for free from maybe bins, bins and other places. And um, but it was a real crazy community, considering they didn't have nothing there, no running water, no electricity. Crazy sense community. But I don't know if you'd agree, Fabian, but you, you may well have seen stuff like that a bit more in the past. But to me, like that way of life really sort of blew my mind to see people were just basically living off a motorway by a train track. In what was really just a giant bush. You couldn't really describe it any other way, could you? People live in their dream, man. Yeah, I people hugely support that. And it's not a conventional way of life, so it's crazy, it's like lost boys out there. It's wild. But then you say you're making a lot of sacrifices as well. But then to those people they might not even be sacrifices. But to me, you know, to give up my Wi-Fi, my hot running my cold running water, and the roof over my head. I might be a bit of a sacrifice for a person like myself. But we've seen people who have like, sort of come away from the grind of the nine to five in many different ways. And then some have made sacrifices and they're living a completely different way of life. But some of them seem to be thriving quite well and quite organized, don't they? Yeah, fucking happy, man. Like the, the place we stayed last night, it was a, a squatted building which had been handed over to the squatters. And they, they provided their own internet and they were all on different hustles and they were all organized between themselves. Um, and it was a really interesting place, really. And the, and the only uh, downfall I could see of that place, because they had nice apartments to live in, uh, but they had to share their facilities, like their bathroom and their kitchen. But, you know, that happens to a lot of people in, in England because they can't afford to rent on their own or, or, or anything. So there's a lot of people in that situation anyway. But these guys are making a big saving, man. Um, not paying no landlords, basically. So, yeah, we. We're seeing all this, and where are we going to now, Fabian? Where are we uh, on our way Hamburg. to? To Hamburg. What's the name of that place? I don't know if I can uh, disclose that. Ah, see, there's a lot of top secret stuff going on. <laughs> so I've got to be careful what I divulge, actually. But, um. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's, uh, all I can say is it's going to be a, another trailer park. Um, people living in, uh, in caravans, trailers, and, um, yeah basically left up to their own means uh, but I think, uh, as I understand this place uh, has a some basic uh, guidelines that the government has given them as to facilities that they need on site that they can stay there but they're actually legally allowed to stay there um, Hamburg is very liberal in that way um, and that squatting is a hugely a 
accepted part of life there. It's a hugely accepted part of society, and it's hugely supported, maybe not by the government, but by uh, followers of uh, the squatting, sort of, uh, squatting lifestyle. Uh, they tried to shut down the squat there a while ago, um, which was uh, quite, quite a, an important squat in the uh, squatting community. And uh, the government basically tried to shut it down, and um, uh, a couple of thousand black lot turned up and just wrecked havoc around the city for uh, a couple of weeks until the government just decided that it was more trouble than it was worth evicting the squat, and uh, basically gave the squat over to the squatters as far as anywhere. So these people who live quite an extreme lifestyle, is, uh, they, they sacrifice a lot for this way of life, don't they? Yeah, they do, but um, they're willing to sacrifice a lot for this life. I, I, I think it's the right thing to do personally. I think uh, no one, no one should have to pay for a roof over their head. You know, um, living costs are extortionate. People can't cope with the daily grind and uh, want to step out of this system. And um, unfortunately, in a lot of the world, uh, or for a lot of people, it's not possible to step out of this system and uh, I, think, I think the opportunity of being able to do that is uh, really important actually. Yeah, and there seems to be a lot more opportunity to do that over in mainland Europe from what I've seen on this trip as well. Yeah, um, definitely. Might not necessarily be for me or for everyone else, but you know, if you are feeling maybe trapped by the current system, I guess it's good to know that, you, that you're living in, maybe it's good to know that there's places out there you can go where you can escape from those stresses and live a life which I guess in, in your opinion would be more stress free um, like I say it doesn't come without its sacrifices um, so yeah do you think these the people who live these kind of lives do they generally react well to and respond well to the music that you play to them? Uh, yeah generally uh, generally they really enjoy it and uh, I think They've been, yeah. they've been a good audience so far from the tour, haven't they? Yeah, so, yeah, really good. And I was, I was surprised by some of the people who responded well to what I was doing as well, because I thought they might have a really, uh, you know, particular taste in, in music, but they're actually really accepting people, aren't they? I think uh, there's a lot to be said about hip-hop in the squatting community. People may be completely unaware and sort of think that squatters are all about just listening to maybe DB Crust, maybe techno and that sort of thing, but actually there's... Some of the GABA. <laughs> squat raves and all this. Um, but actually people are, are really keen on stuff like hip-hop in the squatting scene. There's a lot to be said for that as well. And uh, I'm always on the lookout for um, alternative hip-hop artists, people who are, who are sort of spitting sense, like my main man, the Count here. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I like I like to while out and at a party, but um, hopefully somewhere in there there's a good message for the people as well. Um, even if it ain't about the right way to live your life, maybe to serve as an example one way to not live your life. <laughs> but um, so yeah, well, here we are on route. We're on tour. Yeah. Perfect truth. Oh, oh, oh. Fabian Madison. Go check out his shit on the internet. Um, and uh, yeah. I hope we'll be making another video on the tour. Respect. <laughs>